Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to a brand new series, or should I say the next installment of my modding tutorials. So you guys know how I've done 1.7.10 tutorials, I've done 1.8 tutorials, we're going to be starting doing 1.9. Now I do know that Minecraft 1.10 has come out, so once Forge 1.10 has come out, I'm going to be showing you guys if there are any um, mis like changes in this series um, compared to one point. Like, if there's any changes from 1.9 to 1.10, I'll show you guys how to update it. If not, uh, we'll be just going straight to 1.10 and continuing to use that. But yeah, we're going to be starting the tutorials on 1.9 today. Uh, this is actually like my first time using 1.9. I haven't touched 1.9 yet in terms of modding. Um, because I've just been focusing on 1.8.9 and my furniture mod. Like, the basics shouldn't have changed at all, so we'll see how we go through this series. Now, I'm assuming that you guys know the fundamentals of Java, so if you're coming to me with syntax errors or you got red lines under your code, uh, it's pretty much guaranteed that I'm not going to help you at all because you should know Java before, before even doing this. Now how I'm going to structure this series is very similar to my 1.8 series where we're going to be developing a mod but then I'm also going to be separating up all the tutorials into kind of modular pieces so we'll have one tutorial that would be items, then one that has blocks so uh, even if you're not developing the mod you can watch those t tutorials just to learn how to create items and blocks. Uh, we'll be doing, uh, may I don't know if we'll be doing tools, I kind of, I. I don't know how I really want to do this. Maybe I'll do tools, depends what the mod has in it. Um, we're also going to be doing like tile entities, probably eventually GOIs, because GOIs do extend the mod quite a bit and um, they kind of make it a lot more advanced in a way, I guess. <laughs> now if you do have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments below and I will, I'll take a look at them uh, once I post this video up on YouTube. But yeah, as I said, we're going to be setting up our working environment today. This is kind of setting up your whole uh, framework for modding. So the first thing that we're going to do is download the Java Development Kit. Now, I've already got it installed, but I'm going to show you guys how you can download it, and then I might actually install the latest update. So what you're going to need to do is search up just JDK in Google. Uh, we're going to go into here, uh, Java Development Kit 8. And then we're going to scroll down to this first section here, accept the license agreement, and then download the version for your computer. So I have a 64-bit, so I'm going to download this one here. That's for 32-bit, and then there's also like Linux and Mac if you have them. So I'm going to go ahead, click on that. That's going to go ahead and start downloading now. Now that's downloaded, we're going to go ahead and install it now. So I'm just going to click on that. Uh, there'll be a little warning message, you probably can't see it on my screen recording, but go ahead, click on yes. Now you do need to be system administrator, so make sure you do have those permissions. So let's go ahead, press next. Um, you can change the uh, install directory, but I'm going to keep it to that. Press next. And then just wait for that to install. If, when it comes up with this, just go ahead, press next. That's installing Java Runtime in Environment now. And then once it's done, it should say successfully installed. Just go ahead, click on close there. Now what you need to do is we actually need to add a path variable for the Java Runtime and the JDK bin folders. Now I'll put a link in the description if you're using like a different operating system because uh, it's kind of like different on Windows 10 and Mac. Well, I don't think you can do it on Mac. I think it's like only on like really Windows. You have to worry about it. Uh, uh, you might also have to do it on Linux if you're doing that as well. But what we're going to do is go on our start menu here, then right click computer and then go properties. We're going to go to advanced system settings environment variables and then you want to go down to the system variables section here you want to check if you've already got a path variable so as you can see um, let's just where was it there it is so as you can see I've already got a variable called path what we're going to do is we're actually going to edit that now if you don't have it you just want to go ahead uh, you want to press press new there then you want to, you want to just do path and then the value uh, that I will type out in a second here but because I've already got it I'm going to edit it and then at the end of it, what you're going to need to do is put a semicolon. 
Then we're going to open up another window here and you need to locate the installation directory of your Java so that would have been where you configured it in the installation so mine's just in local disk uh, program files Java and then uh, here we go so we got our Java runtime folder and our Java development kit folder you're going to go into that and then go into the bin folder and then just copy that uh, address there so copy that pop that into the value there then do another semicolon go back to this folder then go inside the Java runtime and the bin there copy that address and then pop that after the semicolon there then press OK press OK again OK and then we are ready to start installing Forge now so you want to come back to Google and we're just simply going to type in Forge go to the Forge website we're going to be working on 1.9 we're probably going to be working on uh, hmm, 1.9.4 let's just do that then we're going to go ahead go to download latest here and click on MDK we're not going to click on these, these these are just the normal installers we're going to click on this MDK which is stands for uh, I forgot what it stands for <laughs> then just wait for this ad to go through there should be like a button over here called skip uh, if you get something like this just click leave uh, don't click any of the ads on here because they're just sometimes malicious and that kind of stuff uh, it's kind of a I, I, I kind of dislike it but I still use it um, you just got to be safe when you're on the internet uh, then you can just leave that or something close that off we don't really need that anymore so you've got your fi file on the desktop here which is the forge MDK we're gonna create a new folder now I'm gonna call well this is gonna be the folder where all your kind of your working environment is and I'm gonna like, every time I refer to this folder I'm gonna say working environment so I'm just going to call this modding tutorials then open that folder up and then you also want to open this zip up here and you want to drag all the files from this zip here into that folder we just created which is the working directory we're then going to create a new file in here but before we do that you want to make sure that you have file extensions showing because I've had this problem before where people come to me like uh, it's still a text file what you need to do is un 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 what you need to do is untick hide extensions for known file types so make sure that's not ticked there press apply and then press ok we're going to create a new file text document and we're going to call this setup workspace and then change the txt at the end there to dot bat right click that bat and then edit Then inside that file, we're going to type in gradle w setup decomp workspace, and then we're going to do and and gradle w eclipse. Now I'm using eclipse. Um, if you want to use IntelliJ, I'll put a link in the description to a tutorial on how to set it up for that because it's kind of a bit more complicated and I'm not going to be covering it in these tutorials because I find the Eclipse uh, to me is a lot more simpler and I, uh, I, I have no need to change but then once you've typed in that go ahead press file press save uh, I'll put this in the description just in case you uh, type it out wrong uh, but I'm sure you won't we will just save that again to make sure close that off and then we're going to go ahead and double click on the bat file and this is going to start uh, basically de decompiling the source code and then setting up the Eclipse environment now I said like now I was just talking about like Eclipse and IntelliJ uh, I just realized we haven't actually uh, covered downloading um, an IDE yet so we're gonna go ahead and quickly do that now while that is actually setting up so I'm just gonna leave that there now this is not gonna take long because I've already ran it once um, let's just open up a new window here uh, can we go like Google? Okay, it's on my other screen. Hold up. <clears throat> okay, so uh, we're going to be using Eclipse with this tutorial. So simply just type in Eclipse there in Google. Go to Eclipse Downloads. And 
and then we're simply just going to download uh, you just want to download this one here Eclipse IDE for Java developers we don't really need this one here that one's kind of got more features and it's a bit it's not needed so we're just going to go ahead download this one here and then uh, just download the one for your version so either 32-bit or 64-bit install that uh, it should be pretty self-explanatory it's just like installing any old other application then you should have like an icon on your uh, desktop after the installation if you've selected that uh, but as you can see uh, the window has closed now automatically and that means uh, that it is done so you want to go ahead open up Eclipse So I've got Eclipse Mars at the moment, it might be like a newer version, I'm not really sure, but uh, it doesn't really matter what version you have. We're going to go ahead, press browse, we're going to go to our desktop here, uh, and then look for the folder called Modding Tutorials, because this is where I created the folder, it's on my desktop. Look for that, and then go ahead, click on Eclipse here, then press OK, press OK on that. and then we're loading up our environment now so this is where we're going to be doing all our all our uh, modding tutorials in and that should finally come up with something like this where we have MDK example then you just have go into your source here then there's this kind of like this example kind of class um, and if you've got that and you've got all this set up no errors you've installed it correctly if, now if you did have any errors make sure you go over this video again because uh, this pretty much shows exactly what you're supposed to do and uh, if there is any errors you most likely did something wrong yourself but that's it for this video today hopefully you guys are looking forward to uh, learning how to create minecraft mods it's very fun i enjoy it um, i've been doing it for like like four almost five years now not five years probably four years now which is absolutely crazy and i'm still like pretty addicted to it i don't know how but i just am <laughs> But yeah, next video should be out really soon. I'm on holidays from uni now, so I've got even more time to work on videos. I still had lots of time before, but now I've got even more time to work on these. So I should probably pump these tutorials out for you guys, which would be pretty awesome. Maybe like one every second day, which would be a pretty cool idea. But yeah, that's it. Uh, make sure you go ahead, hit that like button uh, if you learned something today. And I will see you guys for the next tutorial where we'll be setting up our main class. Bye guys!